Hi everybody, it's Brad from the Big Family Homestead, and in this video we have got just a mess of work to do. We're talking pressure canning some chicken broth. We've got some solar system repair stuff to fix on our run-in shed, and well, just a lot of stuff. So let's get cracking. So today is just one of those days where we've got just a lot of little things to do. You know, nothing, not one major project, but several, several smaller projects. I've got to get over to the Harbor Freight store because my solar charge controller has wet the bed on me. And well, we need electricity out at our cow's run-in shelter for lots and lots of things like fans and lights and all that kind of yada yada yippy skippy. So I am heading out to go to the, uh, well, to go to Harbor Freight, you know, and that's always, it's kind of like a toy store in a lot of ways, you know what I'm saying? And mama's gonna start working on some broth. We've been making some chicken bone broth for the past couple days, and it's ready to go, ready to pressure can, but first things first, I want to say thank you. Um, you guys have been just absolutely amazing, and a lot of folks have been sending well wishes and cards and different things to the family for grace and to support us. And I gotta tell you, I am just blown away and humbled and just so incredibly grateful. You guys have been so amazing and I just, from the bottom of our hearts, our whole family, we just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. And well, booyah. Without any further ado, let the vlog begin. Here we go. So check this out, a drive-through wine bar. Now, maybe it's just me, but that just seems like an incredibly bad idea to have a drive-through wine bar. Yep. Well, here we are at Harbor Freight. Solar charge controller, here we go. All right, so we got our solar charge controller, El Cheapo from Harbor Freight, but I don't need this for some heavy industrial kind of use, but anytime you're at Harbor Freight, it's always a good idea to get another fire starter. Two bucks, yeah. Okay, mama just called. Uh, we're canning that broth. We're getting the broth canned. And uh, she said, we're out of lids. We need more lids. So I gotta make a run to Walmart because we uh, are poor and Walmart's the cheapest. And as much as I don't like buying anything from Walmart, it's one of those things, it really stinks, but it is what it is. So while I was out, we also stopped by the P.O. Box and I got this awesome card from a subscriber and I'm covering up names so we don't have crazy creepers, but the thing is this, you guys got to, you guys got to understand this really, really means a lot to us and, and it's not, it's not the card and it's not stuff that you get, it's that people are really concerned and they're thinking about you and your family and I'm just blessed so so blessed so thank you very very much so here we are at Wally World and I uh, got to get those lids um, but interesting fun fact about this particular Wally World there is a channel called Dabu 7 and this particular Wally World is one of the ones that he said was going to be or should have been or well was shut down to be a FEMA camp to, to incarcerate all of us and well, uh, just take a look around. It's, it's, it's really not a FEMA camp. Here's your lids, mama. Oh, thanks. We actually found some more. What? <laughs> we did, we found more. You had them? Yeah, we had them. Well, now we have extra lids. We have extra, thank you. <laughs> You're, I'm in my apron. You're in your, she's in her apron. <laughs> I'm in my apron. <laughs> like she's in her apron, yes. Right, right. So you are pressure canning. We've been making broth. Yes, yes. Chicken broth. Chicken broth. We made 36 and a half quarts of broth. Now, if we had purchased that broth from the store, what how much would it cost? $144. And how much did it cost us, baby? Nothing. Zero. Goose well, egg. We had to buy the carrots and celery. So, so. maybe maybe four bucks? Maybe. Sweet. Maybe. <laughs> Solar powered run-in shed for Harriet. Time for the charge controller. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, so we got the old charge controller out, and this one was a, a nicer one. It worked really well for a long time. Uh, about four years, and I, I'm kind of wondering, should I have gotten the extended warranty? I don't know. 
Um, and the new one's in, it's working, it's charging, and so we have light and we will soon have fans out here in the run-in shed. This is gonna be cool. All of you electrician types, I can actually hear your screams from afar with my clear skill here. Uh, I'm not an electrician, what can I say? What's up, Blake? How you doing, big boy? Oh, shy, 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 shy boy. What's up, Turbo? Just chilling, having a good day, living life. Oh yeah. So Claire, what exactly is it to live like Claire? Or be living like Claire? Because I've heard that there's this YouTube sensation, something, a, a, a vlogish, vlogish. So what is it to live like Claire? It's fantastic. Fantastic. Oh yeah. So now another cool thing we have been doing and it's been working really great is we're using our chickens to build up the low wet spots in our yard. Yeah, the chickens. Basically all of the waste that we've been gathering from Harriet's pen, her grass, her poo, when we muck it out, we actually take it over and we've repositioned uh, the chicken's yard to where there's some low spots. We dump all that muck on the low spots, just like this one over here. This one was a wet spot and is now not a wet spot. The chickens get in there and they scratch around and they spread it out. Well, we keep adding to those piles and adding to those piles and they level it out and make us a nice new dry spot for the yard. Uh-oh, it looks like Harriet has invaded again. She comes in here and boots the goats out. I guess she's learning to cohabitate though because she's leaving him alone. What's up there, Petunia? The garden is coming along really, really nicely. All the onions and tomatoes are doing what they should be doing. The vertical garden is working out great. We've already been picking lettuces from it, and it's so fruitful that we're actually considering adding on another tier sooner than later, so fingers crossed. Okay, so I just got off the phone with Tommy over at the Off Grid Nation channel, and uh, amazing conversation, and what a... What a great guy. He's just a really super cool encourager. And um, we were talking about why I pulled down a video um, that was about my unemployment being denied. So I figured I'd just tell you about that because I've been getting a lot of questions and, and people were asking, why did you do that? And bottom line is this, is people thought I was asking for money when all I was doing was asking for prayer. I was asked because I'm stressed out and it's spilling over into all different parts of my life. And um, people were saying just really mean, hateful things. Like that I was using my daughter to try to get money from people. And all I was doing was asking for prayer. And so I, I was just like, I'm not dealing with this. I pulled the video down and I just, it's not worth it. I mean, it's really not worth it. So Tommy wanted to know what was going on and we had this conversation. He was really super encouraging. And um, I just, I guess, I guess the point of even bringing this part of it up is that um, we all need somebody to lean on from time to time. I mean, everybody, I don't care how self-reliant you are how much of a prepper, how much of a ready guy, girl, whatever you are, we all need somebody from time to time to be our Aaron, like Moses needed Aaron in the Bible. And just words of encouragement can mean the world to people. And our conversation was only like 10, 15 minutes long, but it completely gave me a 180 in my thinking and absolutely was just a revitalization of my attitude. And um, so I wanted to share that with you, number one, because people were asking about the video. But number two, there's people in your world, there are people in your world that need you to be that shoulder to lean on from time to time. And maybe it's today. Maybe you need to reach out to somebody. Maybe it's a relative. I don't I don't know. I mean, I saw that uh, Dirt Patch Heaven, I saw this morning that they're having to sell their farm and the possibility of living in an RV. I guarantee you that family needs prayer. That family needs help. That family needs encouragement. And so my challenge to you is who is in your world today? Who is in your world 
that needs that and be that. We're, we're talking about building community. We're talking about strengthening the whole. And I got to tell you what, guys, you are the answer. You're the answer. You specifically can be the, the difference maker in somebody's life today. So my challenge to you is freaking get off YouTube, shut this stupid video off, and go be the change. Go be the difference for somebody because it can make a world of difference. And Tommy was that for me. And so, if, you know, be that for somebody else. And I guarantee you, the whole, your whole world, everybody, it'll just be better all around. So, there it is. Uh-oh. What are you doing in here, Daisy? You guys have made an incredible mess. Look at this humongous mess. Oh, my Lanta. Better get cleaning. How's it going, Grace? So there you have it, folks. We got a lot accomplished. Glad you came along with us for the ride. Please don't forget to comment down below. Tell us what we did wrong because frankly, we won't know what we did wrong until you tell us. And so use this as a way of being uh, morally superior. Nah, I'm just kidding. But do comment down below, that'd be great. You guys have an amazing day.